For the first time in almost a year and a half, Lorient have managed back-to-back -back home wins in Ligue 1. On Saturday, they hosted Brittany rivals Rennes, hoping to put some distance between themselves and the drop zone. Well, Rennes have won only two of their last 14 Ligue 1 matches, but a win here at Le Moustoir would see them up to 42 points and all but guarantee their place in the top flight next season. Well, Walid Meslu with the first shot on target here for Lorient, forcing a half-decent save from Benoit Costil. But it was the visitors who went ahead through Edson Mexer in the 16th minute. Paul Georges and Tep whipping in a corner and the unmarked Mozambique international nodding that one home. Well, shortly before the half-hour mark, a free kick coming in at the other end. And Jordan Ayew forcing an excellent save from Costil, just clawing that one out with his right hand. To keep it at 1-0. A fine ball from Ola Tovinen for Pedro Enrique. Just pulling inside. And in the end it was Wesley Latoa who cleared that one with goalkeeper Benjamin Lecomte beaten. Oren did make it 2-0 before half-time. Sylvain Armand scoring from a corner. This one whipped in by Pedro Enrique. That's an 18th goal in Ligue 1 for the veteran defender who's now the most prolific defender still playing in the French top flight. His first goal for Rennes. And the visitors 2-0 up at the break. And it didn't take long for 2-0 to become 3-0 just five minutes into the second half. And Tep showing his pace and pulling back for his partner in crime, Abdoulaye Dekoure. He's up to 10 goals in Ligue 1 this season. Eight of them coming on the road. A fine cut back and a simple finish to make it 3-0. It's the first time since August 2014 that Rennes have scored three in a league and game. And at the other end, Costa remaining vigilant. How about that for a save? Pulling that one out from the feet of Benjamin Jano. Jano trying his look from distance. Another good save from Costa. One of Rennes' top performers on the night. The ball simply wouldn't go in for the men in orange. Gianni Bruno denied by the post with five minutes of normal time remaining. And in the end, a comfortable win for Rennes. It finished at 3-0 at Le Moustoir.